let's go for a ride! You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Psycho Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. every week. Hey guys, on my bike of choice today, the WR 250 fucking R. Rode the uh, CBR 1000 double R all day yesterday, so thought I'd show equal love for my WR 250 R. But anyways, uh, this video I want to talk about cruise control. I know some of the bikes have that now. I know the BMW S1000R has the uh, cruise control, which I think is freaking awesome, man. Although you'll probably see me doing a lot of no-handed riding with cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, put it on cruise control, eat a banana, eat some food, fuck around. <laughs> uh, I think it's an awesome feature, man. And uh, that's kind of one of the... Uh, features on the s1000 double r that has enticed me to get that bike but the main reason i wanted to get the bike is you know the more upright seating position so you can take it on long cruises and have a nice comfortable ride because i've been very spoiled by this yamaha wr 250r's riding position guys seriously and uh But uh, as far as really, I to be honest with you, I don't really know what the point of cruise control on the motorcycle is really for, though. It's, I know maybe to, to relieve your throttle hand on really long trips, um, but is that really like the safest thing to do? <laughs> You know, I ride one-handed all the fucking time, so I'm not really uh, making an issue of it. It, it. To me, it's safe riding one-handed. But it just for a motorcycle manufacturer to add it as stock on the bike, it just really trips me out. That, uh, like, what is the purpose, like, from their point of view? Is it to relieve the throttle hand so you throw the cruise control on and you just take your hand off so you ride one-handed? Or, uh, or do you hold the throttle, you can just hold on to the throttle and not crank it, and uh, I guess just hold on to it, you don't have to crank it at all, and the bike's just cruising along. I don't know, I've never ridden a bike with cruise control to know how it works, but I see you motovloggers do test rides like on the BMW S1000R and other bikes that have it. And, uh, and I, but you guys do the nose, you know, take your hands off the bars and and uh which i think is really cool but uh and i guess i don't know those probably well i know some of the cruise controls you can add to your bike that like goes on the bar end or something that like pins the throttle to whatever adjustment you want it at um which that's kind of lame in my opinion uh, I'd rather have the one like on the S1000R, you just flip the switch and that bitch just activates into uh, cruise control. Just cruises right on along without you having to uh, put any input in. Obviously that's more for, uh, definitely only for highway riding of course. Uh, definitely don't want to be using that here out in the city, which you know makes no sense. but. So I don't know, tell me you guys, I want to hear your feedback on cruise control for those of you that have it on your bike. Is it really a great feature that you use often? I would like to know. Hey! Nice! If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on my videos. I have a bunch of uh, playlists there. Hopefully you can find something that will entertain you or inform you thanks for watching subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and uh hit like if you like this video i appreciate all you guys take care stay safe and until next time deuces welcome to psycho cruises click the go links just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites also don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com if you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today.
Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.